Could I have all the little ones or the young at heart come forward? Good morning. So guess what we're going to do today? What? We're going to have a pop quiz. What? Yeah. You know, in Matthew 16, Jesus gave a pop quiz. I didn't even have a picture of Jesus. You look at me funny, Jocelyn, but I'm telling you, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about a pop quiz. And the pop quiz that Jesus gave his disciples is not going to be the same pop quiz that I give you, but does anybody know? No, it's all verbal happening right here, right now. Anybody know what these are? Nope. Put your hand. Kitchen appliances? Okay. I mean, theoretically, yes, these can be used in the kitchen. No, it is not a water plug or a drain plug. It does look like it, though, especially with the, cor with the chain on it. Yeah. I'll give you a hint. And I told Jewel to put her hand down because Jewel probably uses these items a lot. A lot because you know what Miss Jewel drinks? What? She makes herself some tea. Oh, that's what they use for tea. And these two items are used, this one primarily is used with loose tea so this is a tea diffuser you put the loose you open it up you put the loose tea in there and then you put it in your mug you pour hot water over it and it steeps or brews the tea this is a tea strainer it's an antique tea strainer actually according to google images um, this is very similar to this but this could be used with a tea bag not just loose tea Granted, I guess you could also use a tea bag in here as well. Um, but that's what these items are for. So, unfortunately, I believe we all failed the pop quiz. Guess what? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but in Matthew 16, don't feel bad about not getting the pop quiz correct. Because in Matthew 16, um, Jesus asks the disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? And you know what? Every single answer they gave was wrong. So they got the pop quiz wrong too. But then, after they got that part wrong, Jesus turns to his disciples and says, but what about you? Who do you say I am? And we only read one response. And that's from Simon Peter. Anybody know what his response was? What? No? It is verse 16. Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Which is right. He is the Son of the living God. He is our Savior. And so Simon Peter was the only one who got the pop quiz correct. And that's okay. Pop quizzes sometimes happen, and sometimes we get them wrong. Sometimes we get them right. But just like these two items here, I had to help explain them to you. You get to help others understand Jesus as you go and talk to your friends or as you go and talk to your family because some of them, they don't know Jesus. Some of them, they don't believe in Jesus. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, some of them are just looking for answers that they don't know where to start looking. And you get to, just like I got to help explain these two items to you, you are going to be able to explain, oh, you don't know who Jesus is? Jesus is a wonderful, loving person who gets to, we get his love renewed every day. We get to see him in heaven, we, but we get to feel his love and his mercy every day that we live. And you can tell them about your experiences or even what you're reading in the Bible. So sometimes a pop quiz 
isn't really for a grade. Sometimes it's so that we can provide that understanding to somebody who doesn't already have it. Just like I did today with these awesome tea strainers and diffusers. Yes, Olivia. Um, my mom has like a Harry Potter mug. Mm -hmm. And when she puts some hot tea in it, some footsteps go in it like the map. From the oh, mug. so it, the heat yeah. from the water yeah. makes things appear on the mug. Yes. Yeah. You know what? That's kind of, I'm actually glad you shared that. <laughs> That's something that happens with us. When you share with a friend the love of Jesus, guess what happens? Hmm. Jesus, they start to see Jesus appearing more and more in their lives. It's not that he wasn't there before, but they start recognizing, oh my goodness, that was Jesus. Oh, that was Jesus again. So you can be their footprints or help their footprints appear the so that they can recognize. And know where he is. Yes. And guess what? Give me five. Guess what? We what? Mm -hmm. And they were all so good. Yeah. <laughs> I liked them all. And well, we them all. let's all remember that we can help others build their maps to Jesus just by explaining and telling them how Jesus moves in our lives. Okay? The mug, how it shows the footprints where someone is going. Yes. Let's pray and then let's have some more fun some more in Children's Church. Okay? Them. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for always being here, never being too far away. And Lord, thank you for the pop quiz because it is such a great reminder for us to know that we are able to help others know who you are just by talking about your love and how you move in our lives. So help us to just be a little bolder about how you're moving in our lives so that we can show others and tell others about how awesomely amazing you are. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thanks.